flame up in lights He just wants to be heard Whether it's the beat of the mic He feels so unlike everybody else Hey guys, I'm gonna hear Okay, so this is going to be a Barrow's Guide. It's going to be filled with all the information that you will need to know about Barrow's. The method I will be using will be to do with Ancient Magics. Um, if you haven't done the quest Desert Treasure, I do apologise that this video won't really help. Um, I mean, the only thing it will help with is doing the Barrow's Brothers, so you know which ones are which and how to get there. I will be doing other parts, as in other methods of killing barrows in the future, but like I said, this will only be helpful to people that have done Desert Treasure. Um, so I'm just going to get go with the uh, infantry at the moment, where well, I'm going to show you what you need to take. So I'm basically bringing Ancients, um, I will show you how to get Ancients in a minute as I'm on Luna. So I'm just going to bring Arims, Holy Book and Staff of Light. You could bring Mystic. Uh, ancient staff and a holy book or whatever mage book you want. Um, I'm also going to be bringing a black salamander and Kirills with the Harald Atar. Um Never forget your spade. Um, when I first started doing barrows I kept forgetting it so and that's before I got the shortcuts and I'll go into that later. So always remember your spades. I got Sean behind me, aka Vibri. Um, I'm just going to bring an extreme set. You could bring a super set, um, or you don't really have to bring that. I just find it helpful if you want to kill the uh, brothers quicker. I'm going to uh, bring a pair of dragon claws. You could just bring a DDS or a god sword. An SGS does help because you can get your prayer back. And I'm just going to bring three prayer pop spore. Um, I mean that's considered too much now as if you wear a ring of wealth um, you can get prayer pots. I'm just going to bring 8 food, that's all I'll need and 600 bloods, 1.2k deaths and 1.8k water runes and teleport to house. Um, and what I'm wearing is a dragon defender, whip, tow rags, tow rags, uh, D boots and a ring of wealth. After the update never um, forget your ring of wealth as um, yeah, they're very helpful. So, this next minute of the guide is just going to show you guys how to get your um, magics to Luna. Sorry, not Luna. Ancient magic. So, you're just going to get to um, the place in the desert. Uh, where is it called? It's... I can't pronounce it. I'm, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Uh, Pollard? No, nah, I'm not going to pronounce that. So, you can either get here from a Ring of Slaying. You can get to the, uh, the pyramid with... A pharaoh scepter or you can just travel the rug or the magic flying carpet thing and just run here so as soon as you teleport you just go straight down past the pub and then all the way out of this place yeah that there is the rug merchant and you just keep going until you see a pyramid place Now, on YouTube, I have an unlimited time to upload videos, so I was going to do this in like a three or four part um, guide, but I thought it would just be better just to have one uh, fully packed video, just with all the information that you guys would actually need. So, yeah. So once you get to this pyramid, you just go all the way around to the back. Basically, you're using the, uh, the back entrance. Okay, so I'm just going to go through some of the requirements you will need to do barrows. Okay, so you're going to have to have done the Priest in Peril quest, so you can actually get into the um, the swamp area and all of that. Um, not the swamp area, the actual um, cannabis. Um, and there's basically, well, the other side of RuneScape, I guess. Um, I'm just going to go to get the name of it as, yeah. So yeah, that's it, like that place, I'm not going to pronounce that either, um, just yeah, so you have to do that to get through the temple and whatnot. You need to have at least started Nature Spirit Quest, so you can get in uh, to the place where Barrows is, um, and Desert Treasure, like I said before, would be quite handy, as you can use a teleport in your house, uh, so once you're inside, you just pray at this altar, 
and your magics has changed. So I'm just going to teleport to my house. And also in search of the Merrick, um, my, my recruit. Um, basically it shortens the journey from Canifis to Barrows by a lot, basically. Um, so yeah, so once you're in your house, basically you should get an altar. So if you're doing lots of Barrows trips, you don't have to keep going to find an altar. So then I'm just going to go into my portal room and teleport to Kirill. And there's a bank here, so if you forget something on your way, you can go pick it up now. Okay, so the recommended stat to do Barrows efficiently is 62 magic uh, to access the wind wave. So um, if you're not doing the ancients method, then yeah. 70 defense, so you can wear the Barrows armor. That's highly effective as what I use is very good. Um, I don't I don't use bandos as I don't know it's it's too expensive. Well, not too expensive, but I just prefer to have something like toe rags as they're like I don't know 900k for the top and about a mil for the legs, something like that. Um, and 70 range, so you can wear black d hide. Um, I mean I'm only going to use krills because I just prefer them to black d hide. I mean I used to use black d hide, but yeah, they just they look a lot nicer. Um, and also 43 prayer is, you know, a must as you need to protect from Darok 100% of the time. And um, so yeah, so all I've gone, all I've done is gone through the um, trap door behind the pub and followed it down, and I've come out here. So then you just run down, you climb the tree, and you just see your character running, and then you go straight down again. Uh, now sometimes the gas can rot your food, so luckily that gas missed there. And then you just have to board the boat. And if you haven't got those recommended stats I just said, it doesn't matter. But the uh, the bare bone minimum um, is 43 prayer to protect from melee, 35 magic to access the firebolt spell. And 50 range gives you access to the blue dragon hide armor and a magic short bow if you're going to be using other methods. Okay, so once you've come off the boat, you just run down the. Um... Wow, words have just gone from me. Yeah, you run down the bridge and then you um, you basically at Barrows. Now I'm just going to rest here. I'm going to pause the video and get my rest back. Okay, so now my run is at full. We're going to do the first brother, which is Darok, or Darok, how, however you, someone pronounces it. And for this, I'm going to put on my Ancients, or my Magical Armour. And then you're going to want to dig with your spade, and protect from melee. You then, oh, see, I've got him in the tunnel. When that appears, you just leave the, um, the thing as quick as you can, so it doesn't drain your prayer. And then I'll come onto the tunnel later. So all you've got to remember is Darok is your tunnel. Or whatever brother is your tunnel. Okay, so next I normally do... Well, if I started with Darok, I'd go to Kirill. As just use the rest of my prayer. And then I go to Arim, normally without prayer. As um, I've got the Kirills. So I'm just going to go in the order I'd normally go. So I'm just going to put on my melee outfit. And my dragon claws. I'm going to put the special on and pot up. Okay, so then all I'm going to protect from is range and piety. Spec him out. I mean, of course, I'm going to fail for the video as I always have really terrible luck when uh, recording. So you just want to kill Kirill as quickly as you can. Oh, that's 40 there. Turn your prayer off, and then if you haven't got any prayer left, then just put on your dehyde or Kirill's, whatever you're using. So I'm um, for now. I'm just gonna put my dragon claws on again. Put the special on. Protect for magic and piety. Spec him out, and then I'm gonna also put my Kirill's on so he can't. Well, most of the time drain my stats, but um, yeah. Somehow he can still train his stats with Kirill's and protect from uh, magic. So 
I don't really see the logic um, it's game there you go I feel weakened don't know how okay so next I'm going to do Guffin so I'm just gonna put on my magical armor dig again just use the rest of your prayer okay so I'm gonna freeze him and then I'm gonna put on my black Sally and Kirill's and then I'm just gonna attack him with magic as for some reason it always hits harder than aggressive or uh, sorry strength for range so you can hit the uh, after freezing him with a barrage you can hit five times before there you go he gets unfrozen basically so I'm not gonna worry about that okay so now next I'm going to do toe rag so I'm gonna switch back to my mage outfit I'm gonna dig my spade again again put protect from melee on just because I have some uh, leftover prayer and again switch to the black salamander as you can see you know I'm hitting really well um, it's just because I'm recording I always have bad luck um, right I'm gonna see you guys in about a year no um, I'm just gonna switch back just to get another freeze on him terrible Okay, so after you've killed Torag, should be any day now. There you go. And your last brother is Varak. Um, now, if you're lower levels on all these brothers, you might want to protect from melee if you're not uh, maging them like the method I'm doing. So with Varak, even if you protect from melee, he can still hit you. So you either want to freeze him or just bring some good armor oh got some nice hits coming for the camera now there you go now he's unfrozen see he can still hit quite hard even when I'm wearing like krills and stuff Okay, so now on to the tunnel. I'm just going to put my um, uh, normal outfit back on. Um, I'm just going to get a few pictures up, just so you guys know what we're doing. Okay, so just recap him. Your left, uh, well, top left is Varak, and he's level 115. Top right is uh, Darok, which is 115. A rim is in the middle. Torag, or Torag, is at the bottom left. Guffin is at the bottom right and Kuro is in the bottom middle so you protect from melee 100% of the time with Darok protect from mage if you have any leftover prayer on a rim or you just wear your Kirills or black dehydes and protect from range 100% of the time on Kirill as he can hit quite hard on you okay so before we go into the tunnels I'm just going to show you a picture of basically what your the tunnels look like so you're gonna end up in one of these rooms and basically you want to get to the chest and there's only one door that you can enter the chest room now um, I will show you some handy little trips when you get into the tunnels sorry tips um, when you get into the tunnels but basically you do get better at it if you keep trying uh, I mean the first time I done it uh, first trip at Barrows I had to teleport out as I ran out of food and I was about to die as I just couldn't find the chest and when you get to the chest, I just I'm gonna go through this now so I don't have to go through it when I'm in the tunnel. These four pictures are the answers to the chest uh, or to get into the room. So if you wanna like print screen this now, um or just I don't know, yeah, right now and so you'll know how to get into the room. Okay, so now we're going to go in. I'm going to set my quick prayer to melee as Darok can pop out at you anytime so you are gonna need prayer okay so basically you just search the sarcophagus again and it says you want to enter you click yes I'm fearless and basically there'll be one door from where the rope is that you can enter and I'm just gonna remember where my room is so right so this is the chest and as you can see this is a handy tip if you go up to the the door you can see where your thingy is so the door is there but you can't go to that door 
So you're just going to have to go all the way around till you get your door. Uh, this one is annoying as you have to go all the way around, but it shouldn't take too long. So, as you can see, that's the chest again, and the door can't open. So you're just basically going all the way around until you can actually get to your door. Um, I mean, some people do find this quite hard, but for me, I've done quite a lot of Barrow's trips, and there you go, there's Darok. I'm not going to bother praying, and um, he's probably going to one-hit KO me. There you go. Attack him. Right, so I'm just going to put Protect from uh, Mage on as I'm failing quite a lot at the moment. Right, there you go. I'm just going to, I'm just going to brood him, uh, as I don't feel, feel like dying on this video. Since I haven't died in quite a while, I want to keep it like that. And put back on that, use the rest of prayer. And just going to continue going around. Usually the Barrow's brother does um, hap appear when you open the chest, but it can pop out at any door you pass, so always be careful. Okay, so say you're like this situation you try to get in and you can't you can't have enough time to click the thing before the thing attacks you so all you're gonna do is attack oops just that wasn't supposed to happen um so you just attack the one monster that is attacking you and no more will attack you if you're standing right by the door that's a handy thing uh jagex added a while ago so then you open the door and if i just open up this quickly again you can see that there's four things and basically that one is your answer so you just click it and it unlocks and you can now pass through the door I normally get three kill count so I've already got two basically three means you get a chance of getting death runes and I think blood runes so if you just go back through the door and back here again obviously that guy isn't gonna attack his one Okay, so once you've got oh, not killed it yet. Okay, so once you've got free kill count, here's the fun time: is you open your chest, you click search, and what did I get there? Oh, I just got two of them. I didn't get an item there, unfortunately. But as you can see, um, you just get your loot like that. Now, this is how you get back. Uh, you just basically go back the way you came, and you have to try and find your rope. Um, I normally do multiple uh, runs per trip as I can last quite a while. Most people like to teleport out after they're done as they just want to restock. I used to do that but it's just a lot quicker uh, and easier doing it this way. Okay so I've now forgotten where my rope is. I'm hoping uh, it's this way. Um. Again, I am hoping. Um, yes, it is. Thank God. I actually forgot where it was. <laughs> okay, so then you just climb up the staircase, and that was your first Barrows run. Um, I do apologise that I did fail a lot in this video. Um, I might just do another run quickly, and um, and I'll show you if I get an item in a minute. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Okay, so I couldn't get a clip of me getting an item as I did have to teleport out after that video as I had in my life stuff to deal with. So I do apologise. I will probably add a clip in my next video of me getting an item. Um, please leave a comment below if you liked this type of video as this is the longest video I've ever created. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like more videos like this as in longer then uh, the videos I would usually create as in a couple of minutes long seven eight minutes um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video it did take quite a while to create as I did have to do it about three or four times as the software failed and the microphone failed so I hope you guys enjoyed the video please comment thumbs up and subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys later also one more thing before I go a shout out to Heather aka X Heather XO on RuneScape. Um, she's a really good friend and um, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. See you guys next time.